Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK, out foraging again. It's the 19th of October and I'm in Herefordshire and I've just found a, a mushroom that I've never done a video on before. It looks quite lovely and uh, all you guys should know about it. So come on down, let's have a look at this beautiful fella here. Now from the top, I suppose you could be uh, forgiven for thinking you might have a prince or a parasol, but it's uh, neither of those. This is a member of the, the dappling group of mushrooms. Now, the dappling group of mushrooms are uh, a dangerous group. They're basically, normally, uh, this is a bit of an unusual member, but they're normally uh, very similar to small parasols. And we give the warning that if you found a parasol that's less than maybe 10 centimeters in diameter and a bit shorter, then you should leave it behind. It might not be a parasol. It could be one of the dapplings. This one here is the freckled dappling, um, Echinoderma aspera, I think, this week. So um, it's uh, a mushroom that isn't uh, one of the truly deadly ones, as far as I know, but it is a, a toxic look-alike for, like I said, the prints and potentially the parasol. So let's have a closer look at the features. Now, come down here and uh, have a little look at the cat lens. You can see the kind of almost mounds that you get. Just around here is quite good. Like little mountainous blotches all over the cap. The prince isn't like that. The prince is uh, more like this section here, actually. <laughs> Funnily enough. Uh, more kind of overlapping flakes, if you like. Now, under the cap, let's get down to the base and have a look, see what we've got. So, if this was the prince, then the gills would be pink, White, if it, whitish if it was very young, but they would be pink to brown at this stage. You can see those gills are uh, particularly uh, crowded as well on, on this mushroom. Now what we've also got under the uh, cap on the stem is our skirt here, which is very much like a, a parasol skirt, that thicker edge, which is called a, a double edge skirt. Um, you can see they're similar, akin to the skirt of a, of a parasol. And then it is almost removable in the same way as the skirt of a parasol. That there is dirt. That's not the snakeskin effect you get on the stem of a parasol, but a very similar skirt. Now, if you remember from my parasol videos, the uh, cap with the parasol is attached by a ball and socket joint. You don't get that with your Echinoderma aspera. It is reasonably similar though. And uh, these features are um, the same features that you would expect on the rest of the dapplings, really. Some of them don't have a skirt. Uh, this is probably the largest of the dapplings that I know of. Um, some of them, like I say, don't have a skirt. Some of them do have the ball and socket attachment to the, uh, to the cap. Um, and some of them, not this one, but some of them are truly deadly mushrooms. The deadly dappling, for example. So when you're picking your parasols and your princes, be sure of what you've got. The parasol should be much taller with a definite ball and socket joint attachment, much more widely spaced gills. And the prints would uh, have pink to brown gills at this stage. And rather than the kind of mountainous uh, effect on the cap that, that we showed you, it would have more sort of a, a flaky kind of effect. Hard to describe, but look at photos and you'll, you'll see what I mean. Anyway, stay away from your dapplings. And if you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.